students, uh, welcome all of you in the another session of traffic engineering and management. So we have been learning the one of the most important modules that is the rotary design of rotary intersection. We have covered a number of important topics. So let us uh, continue the journey of learning this particular module. So let us begin the journey of learning this current model of traffic engineering and management. So, which model we are learning? We are learning currently the design of intersection. What we are going to cover in this particular topic is we are going to cover the grade separated intersection. See, these are the intersections at which the vehicles crosses at different levels. Grade separated. Grade means level. If the level is separated, it means if one road is going from this direction and one is going from this direction. So this is the difference of grade. That is called as difference of level. If difference of grade. So this kind of things are called as grade separated intersection. Due to the change in the level of their particular ages, they cause very less hazard and delay as compared to grade intersection. So that, that's why that these are called as grade separated intersection or interchanges. Why they are being provided? So the objective of providing this kind of intersection is to eliminate all grade crossing conflict point and to accommodate other intersecting maneuvers by merging, diverging and building at very low relative speed. What is the meaning of this statement is that this kind of grade separated intersection is provided to eliminate all the conflicts that are being caused at the grade. We have learned the conflicts that are being caused at the grade in the previous session. So, if we provide this grade separated intersection, they will be eliminated and more intersecting movements such as merging, diverging and weaving at very low speed can be accommodated. See, it increases the capacity of road also and it reduces the congestion also. So this is about the grade separated intersection. So when the major highway is taken over the road of lesser importance, means if this is the road which is having less importance and major highway is going from this direction, it is called overpass. And when the major highway is taken by lower direction and the lesser important road passes from upper direction, if the major highway is on upper direction, that is called as overpass. If the major highway is at lower direction, that is called as underpass. So this is about that. So this is called as underpass. Where the major highway is crossing beneath. This is overpass. Where the major highway is crossing above the lower importance. So this is the difference between underpass and workers. Let us learn certain advantages that it avoids the necessity of stopping, it avoids the accidents at the intersection, it increases the safety, it increases the overall comfort and convenience also, it increases the overall comfort and convenience that is repeated once again and it is useful for expressways. And apart from this, it is possible to adopt the grade separation for all likely angles and layout of the intersecting groups. As all the things are having certain pros and cons, we have learned about advantages. Let us learn about the disadvantages, that means the cons. See, as the level of the grade is quite different, there will be higher amount of cost in the it would require desirable topography and angle view. So this were certain advantages and disadvantages. Now let us learn about the favorable site conditions. See, what we have learned till date in this session is that that the grade separated intersection or the intersection that is provided at the different gear. Grade means the height. Where this is one of the road, and this is one of the road, and this is the height of that particular grid. So that we need to have proper aerodrome, we need to have proper conditions 
and we need to learn that what are the favorable conditions. So first is that they are provided on highway facilities only, such as expressways, freezeways, and waterways. Then they are only possible where it is not possible to improve the existing at grade intersection facility. If it is not possible to uh, improve this at grade, what we will do? We will provide grade separated intersection. Where the accident rate is quite high, it is favorable. It is favorable if the traffic volume is also very high. It is provided at certain topographical locations. See, topography plays an important role. Where the grid intersection involves considerable earthwork and land acquisition because we have learned that proper right of way is required so that the land acquisition will be required. What are the current Indian practices? In case of urban streets, the grade separation should be provided if the estimated traffic volume within the next five years are in excess of the traffic capacity of the intersection. Means if the traffic that is going to be generated within the next five years is more than the capacity of current existing intersection. In case of urban streets, the grade separator will be provided. And in case of rural, what are the criteria? So, in case of rural highways, it is provided at the intersection where the annual daily traffic on the cross road within the next five years exceeds 5,000. See, in case of rural, the traffic count 5,000 is provided. In case of urban, the condition is provided. That it should be provided if the estimated traffic volume within the next five years is in the excess of the capacity of the intersection. So it is like this. So these are the certain favorable Indian current practices. Then comes the types of grade separated intersection. See, basically there are two types. It can be either of without interchange or it can be of with interchange. Now what is interchange? Let us learn that interchange is a system where the traffic between two or more roadways flows at the different level at the grade separated junction. I repeat, interchange is a system where the traffic between two or more roads flows at the different level in the grade separated junction. Common types of interchanges include dumpfed interchange, diamond interchange and cloverleaf interchange. We will learn about all those things. See, this is dumpfed interchange. Do you know what is the meaning of dumpfed? This is the trumpet. You might have observed this in number of movies or in marriages. This is called as trumpet. See, the shape of this interchange is like this only. Like this. See, you can see there is similarity between this interchange and this trumpet. So, that is why it is called as trumpet interchange. It is also, sometimes it also looks like this. So you can see this is how it looks like. Both are very similar. That is why it is called as trumpet interchange. It is used where one highway terminates the other highway. You can see that this is one highway and this is another highway. And both of these are this is the level of height. This is higher than this particular age. So there is a difference between the grade. This involves at least, see, wait a minute. See, this involves at least one loop ramp. This can be seen that this is the loop of ramp. See, this is connecting this side. This is called as ramp. Ramp means this kind of slope that connects one highway and other highway. It involves at least one loop ramp connecting the traffic either entering. See, this is the slope. Let me take it another. See, this is the slope where 
it connects to the traffic either entering or leaving the terminating expressway with the far ends of the continuous line. The principal advantages are it is of low construction cost and useful for highways as well as toll roads. So this is about a conflict interchange. This is how it looks like. See, this is I have to take another color. So this is one and this is second. Then comes diamond interchange. It is having the shape of diamond. See, diamonds look like this. So you can see this is one of the shape of diamond. It looks like this. That is why it is called as diverging diamond interchange or diamond interchange only. It is the simplest form of grid separated intersection. We can see that this is the simplest form. See, this is one road going in this direction, this is one road going in this direction. That is the intersection between two roadways. It can be designed for the narrow right of way of the major road. See, this is how it looks like, diamond interchange. This is how it looks like. So, this is the motion of the, the movement of the vehicle that is being provided. You can see that. This is it. And then comes the clover leaf interchange. See, clover leaf means this kind of arrangement of leaf that is called as clover leaf, like this. If it is like this, then that is called as clover leaf interchange. See, you can see this is how it looks like. One, two, three, and four. So this is how it looks like. That is why it is called as clover leaf, like this. See. See, it is having four legs. One leg, two leg, three leg, and four leg. One leg, two leg, three leg, and four leg. Four leg interchange with a single structure and it is very popular. It is, it is used when two high volume and high speed road intersects at each other. You can see this is one product, this is second. If both of these are in high volume and high speed, then lower leaf interchange that will be provided. There are certain advantages of lower leaf, such as only one structure is required. You can see that this is only one structure is required. Left turning topic has a direct path and it is simple to use and does not confuse the driver. Certain disadvantages are also there, such as larger area is required. Long and difficult U turns are required. Right turning traffic has to travel extra. You can see this is how it has to travel like this. And higher carriage area is required. So it looks like this. This is the clover This is clover. We'll learn about the remaining uh, interfaces in the next session. Thank you.